So, um, people have been asking me uh, about a video that I made a while ago how I played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker using the PPSS PP emulator at 60 frames per second. So, I decided to make a little video to show you how. Hopefully, this is helpful. So, here I have a default extraction. Um, I downloaded it from the site today. This is version 1.3. And I also have the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker ISO, the USA version, in this folder. It doesn't have to be here, it can be anywhere, but I have it here just so it's easy. So we can start PPSP. P. I already found the game, and I created a save state to show you the differences in frames per second. So I'm going to load that up here, and you should see it at that 20. In menu, it will be at 60, but in game is 20. Obviously, you want to have it higher than that. So, one of the things you want to do is go to settings, then down to system, and then scroll down until you see the enable cheats option. So, check this and hit back. And now you should see a cheats menu in your uh, escape menu. So, Go ahead and hit cheats, and it'll take you to the cheat sub menu. And when you go to there in your memory stick PSP folder, there should now be a folder titled cheats. And in that folder, there is now a configuration file for your game. So we're going to want to edit this file, so go to edit cheat file in PPSSPP. And it'll open up the file in Notepad. Now, here you're going to want to paste in some information that you can find here at the PPSSPP forum, uh, 60 FPS patches master list, which I'll link to in the description. So scroll down, find the version of the game that you have. So Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. For me, it's USA. Now find this information, copy it, paste it into the notepad, and then hit save. Exit out. Now, when you go into your cheats menu, you'll see that there's options for 30 and 20 FPS. I do not know why it doesn't initially show 60 FPS. But what I found works is if you enable and then disable all cheats, and then edit the cheat file, you'll notice there's a line missing. So I'll just repaste that information in there. Go to File, Save, and I'm going to hit Continue to play the game. Then I'm going to Escape back out to this menu and when I go to cheats now the 60 FPS option is available again so I'll enable this and I'll exit back out hit continue as you can see 60 FPS is a little buggy in cutscenes and in gameplay. A lot of things are tied to the frames per second. Uh, a lot of physics are tied to the frames per second. So Snake will throw things extremely fast and his ability to perform CQC and combat roll are also affected by the much higher frame rate. So I would actually recommend setting it on 30 as opposed to 60 because then it's still much higher than 20 and the cutscenes and the combat is not affected. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you. I hope this has been helpful.